Hey there, and welcome to Eureka. My name is Sandra, and I work with the Ottawa Public Library. Now, some of the very first mysteries I read as a kid had codes in them. And hearing about how people used Morse code and other codes to get messages to each other throughout history always had me interested. And with computers, there's all sorts of hidden codes that they use to write and print and do all sorts of different things. So today, you and I, we're going to be doing some coding of our own with beads and making keychains, bracelets, or what you like. So let's take a look at what we're going to need to do. But the, uh, first, let's activate our creative mind. Let's warm up our creative fingers and let's get coding. All right, so here we are. Very first thing we're going to need today is something to string our beads on. So I've got some wire. You could use some dental floss, some cord, some yarn, some thread, whatever you have. We're also going to need a bead for our dots, a bead for our dashes, and a bead for our spaces. And there we have them. So, I'm going to find the end of this wire boop, and start with three dots. See if you can follow along and figure out what I'm spelling. Right. So there is my first letter. So now I'm going to add a space. dot and a dash with a space. Then <laughs> a dash and a dot. Let's make sure we put that space in. Ta-da. Then it's a dash And oh, <laughs> a space. Oh. 
then. Dot. Dash. Dot. Space. And the last letter is again A. Dot. So there we have it. So let's just finish that up. All right. So there we have it. <laughs> And then I'll be able to wear it as a bracelet, or I could even use it as something like a keychain. We're going to use some cord that could be dental floss, it could be lace, it could be thread, and we're going to use some beads. So we have two colors, black and white. Black is going to represent our zeros, or our off, and white is going to represent our ones, or our on. So I'm going to start at the bottom and work from left to right. So if you take a look just over here, there'll be a little guide to all of the different letters. have it. Now this is all kind of wibbly wobbly. So for our next row we're going to balance this out so that it's in the middle and then we're going to start crisscrossing back and forth.
there's my pattern. So what I'm going to do now is take this string and thread it through in the opposite direction. If it happens that a couple of your beads have dropped down, remember you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which means these two extra ones actually belong up there. There we go. So now I can tighten this up a little and I'll just double count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wonderful. So I'll tighten that up and there I am. So on to the next row. we take a look at the chart, let's put that to the side. If we take a look at the chart, it reads S A N D R A. So now I have a tag or a keychain that I can use to identify something as mine. And to finish it off, all I really need to do Tie a knot. <laughs> so we want to try and tighten it up as much as we can before we tie the second knot. And there we go. So now this can hang and I can put it on a keychain or use it on a bookmark. All right, so there we have it. I have a bracelet and my very own keychain ready to go. So I hope you've had some fun making your very own items and I hope that this has piqued your curiosity around codes. So be sure to click on the links below. There'll be a couple of documents that you can use to create your own codes and your own items. So if you had fun, be sure and click on the like button 
and you can also subscribe to our channel to get notified when more videos come out. And until then, if you're looking for some great adventure, some mysteries, maybe a couple of spy stories, be sure and check out our website with your grown-up at www.biblioottawalibrary.ca. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.